Alright. Let's go again. It's Ancient Owls this time. Ancient Owl 4 is at the at the Orange Camp. If it would have been an expansion camp, it could have been a Warden, but here it's probably going to be a Demon Hunter again from Rudan. So far, he's actually not going for any kind of special playstyle, but that's actually also good, it seems like, because last game it worked out really well for him to play standard, and he actually has a 1 0 lead now against Lucifer, which I honestly didn't expect. I would have given the edge to Lucifer, but I mean, I didn't see Rudan playing in quite some time. So I don't know what kind of shape he is in, but it seems to be really damn good. And if Rudan actually manages to beat Lucifer and kick him out of the tournament, that would be pretty damn interesting. And there we go, there's the Demon Hunter. Because Happy already got kicked out as well, I think it was by Rudan as well. Yes, it actually was. Looking at the grid here, Happy lost to Rudan too, so Rudan took out Happy. If he can take out Lucifer as well, that would be pretty damn sick. Because Lucifer and Happy are usually the two UD players that get pretty damn far in Shara Cup, and now they're just getting wrecked by Rudan, which is really, really cool to see. For the other games that are being played right now, it's Czechy versus Czech, which is another, well, which is a UD versus Nightelf. We have Sonic versus Foggy as Nightelf member, and Shake waiting for an opponent here, which is either gonna be Remind or So In, so it's gonna be UD versus either. Orc or Night Elf. Anyway, getting back into this game though. Lucifer going for the same build order again. Early Ghouls, early DK with a second Seagull Rat. This time though, he is either going for an early Ghoul push or he's gonna go for early Creeping. I think he's gonna go for early Creeping. And Rudan actually starting to like now. I hope he doesn't have any uh, connection issues now. It would be pretty damn inconvenient. There we go, he's back. He's just disconnected for a second. And there we go, Lucifer. Looks like he's gonna go for some creeping. And Demon Hunter got the claws as the first item here. Again, Circlet would be better for him for the survivability in this matchup, but I mean, claws is also really damn good for the damage output, of course. There's nothing wrong with that. So Lucifer will get really close to level 2 here. He went for Coil first, so no Aura yet. So if Rudan actually harasses now while there's no, no, while there's no Aura yet, he can actually do a lot, because Lucifer won't be able to pressure with Surround Send all that stuff all too much. And Rudan again, getting the Trill Shadow Priest run work and by pulling the creeps away with an Archer and sending the Wispin to actually bite that Trill Shadow Priest. So that's a really nice opening for him. He has to dispel against the skeletons. If he dispels one skeletons, that's perfectly gonna be his level up, which means he's gonna have evasion if he doesn't e have it yet. Or he can also get into emulation if he wants to. Actually, he gets around it though, even, there, even though there's no unholy aura for Lucifer. Kind of messed up by Rudan, really. Tries to still get the ghoul, doesn't actually work out though, so he just wasted a shit ton of HP. Because he could have. Also just he beat earlier, but I see why he didn't do it, because he just wanted to try to pick up the ghoul. But this time Lucifer actually got a really really good opening compared to game 1. He's just gonna continue creeping now. He can easily pick up the Strobo Circus since they take bonus damage from the normal damage of the ghouls. And that's level 2 already. But getting that kind of a surround, even though there's no unholy aura, that shouldn't have happened. And especially not getting the ghoul in for Rudan, he burned the Moonwell Truce of his two Moonwells already. The third one finished, but he's still low HP. Gonna get some works now to help with creeping and actually try to take out the whole work camp here. Gets an natural Shadow Priest to help with the healing here and also dispelling skeletons. But it's also a big investment. I mean, a natural Shadow Priest is 195 gold, 10 lumber to supply. So, since they're kinda easy to pick off, especially if there's a Lich out on the field with a Nova. That's quite a risk to take. I mean, they also have some nice value, especially with the healing now, and also the dispel. And they also have some decent damage, but they're so easy to kill. So it's a big resource investment for Rudan, which means they will have less resources on tier 2. And Lucifer sending in more ghouls. He's actually going for the graveyard crypt, so this is going to be Galgal play. Which we don't see that often at all at such a high level of play. 
Seven rewards for Lucifer, so he has really nice vision on the map, at least on the left side of the map and in the main base of his opponent. Getting two archers picked off already, he also managed to pick off a Moonwell, so that's really, really nice for him. And Rudan so far really not having the best game of the day here. He got the Naga, but instantly into a surround, didn't micro her at all. Where did his micro actually go? First game he had such beautiful micro, he had a staff in time, and he had really awesome trades in mid game. But now it's really the other way around. Another surround on the trouble circuit. This time, the, this time he actually can get out. So Rudan still getting two goals for his troubles here. But it seems to be almost a different player at this point. First game his micro was really on point. This game that's not really the case. But definitely wouldn't count him out yet. Lucifer going for the gargoyle play. What is nice for Rudan about this is, oh, he has to be so careful, he doesn't have anything to get out, and that one hit by the Nubian Tower might cost him his Demon Hunter, never mind. Lucifer didn't get this around. Probably wouldn't have been able to kill the Demon Hunter anyway with such a low HP DK and only 5 ghouls. Naga is back now. There's no shop for Rudan though, so. No staff for him. Has to be careful about his trouble circuit here. The solve free for the DK is a level 2 call, but since he doesn't have mana, it doesn't really matter so much. Actually, no, there's no level 2 call, there's actually level 2 unholy aura. Because since he's playing against level 3 demon hunter, he knows that he's not gonna have much mana anyway. So, level 2 unholy aura is actually pretty nice for the HP reach and the increased movement speed to have an easier time surrounding and just have an easier time to pick off those mercs. Now, Rudan having gone for all his mercs is actually quite nice for him if he's playing against those gargoyles here. So he just has some more anti-air early on. Let's see who can actually get the creep. Rudan managed to secure it, that's really nice for him. But that's what I mean with Trill Shadow Priest being easy to pick off. He's not gonna be able to survive this, since there's no staff for Rudan either. Trouble Circuit coming back in again. That Riot is gonna have quite some trouble fighting against those four goggles now. And usually you don't see goggle plays so much on this level of play, but it can work. Especially on this map, it's nice, I guess, because you can easily take out the drakes at the Merc camp with those Gargoyles, but since Rudan already took one of the Merc camps, that's actually uh, quite nice for Rudan here. But he's being pressured so much, there's two skeletons in here as well. One skeleton getting dispelled, the other one didn't get dispelled, failed to die with the Whisper. But there we go, Trouble Circle is down, the second Trouble Shadow Priest is gonna die as well. We already heard the Dry dying as well, and the second one is not gonna survive this either. And he's just trying to pump out riots and riots and riots, but Please. it's not really enough. His Angel of Four died to the creeps, so no chance of getting archers. And Lucifer manages to equalize the series to a 1-1 one -one with some beautiful gargoyle play.